Hi, Sharon Danley here with another two minute tip. This week it's a little discussion on how to avoid fast tracking your way to gray haired freedom. Given the number of women that I have uh, conversed with and discussed their gray hair journey. There's themes that keep rising to the top and one is that there's a fast way to do it. You can highlight your way, you can color your way, you can do any number of things. Well you know what? The bottom line is it isn't so smart. It's better to embrace it, let it grow, and enjoy the journey along the way. Unfortunately, many who have highlighted, although not all, but many, have found that they've had to end up cutting their dyed bits off because it requires a lot of bleach to highlight the hair, especially if you wanted a platinum color or a gray color, it requires a lot of bleach. And then you've got a combination of shiny, healthy gray hair next to dyed bleached hair, whether it's highlighted or whatever it's done with it. That's not such a great look either. And oftentimes the dye bits can become brassy and or you have to continue spending a fair amount of money at the salon to keep your hair toned. The other approach that some women have taken is to, um, is to strip the old color out. Now, bottom line is you're not going to strip it all out. What you're going to end up with is a faded color that will probably look worse than if you just left it alone. Here's something to think about too. I've heard women talk about their demarcation line as a skunk line or they've referred to it as something um, negative. Mm -hmm. Anything new or growing, it's like spring. Uh, when plants are coming up out of the ground, do we spring? We, do we think about them as being negative? Well, it's the same thing with your emerging gray hair. It's growing out. It's, it's finding its voice. It's emerging. It's going to be wonderful. And it's new. Treat it with the same kind of love that you would anything else that's new. And one more word. Embracing your gray hair without the assistance of trying to fast track it it's a challenge, yes, but oh, such a rich one. If you journal your journey, take pictures every month, you will be so glad that you did because there is a treasure trove of gems to discover about yourself and it also helps to hone your patience skills. And there are lots of approaches to styling your hair uh, with the demarcation line growing, uh, like using extensions as an example. And I'll put a link uh, to my uh, transition in the description box on how I used it because I kept my hair long. I didn't do anything with it except just let it grow. And after it gets to about four or five inches, because hair grows at different rates, the demarcation line becomes soft and then you end up having this wonderful ombre look. And I have to tell you, there's a few of us that once our, the last of our color was cut off, it was like a whole new thing because you grew to love your ombre look and now it's gone and now you have to get used to something else again. So to wrap it up, remember these points. Dye cannot replicate the real thing. Blonde highlights against gray isn't particularly attractive. Fragile, thin, fine, or already chemically treated hair should not undergo more chemicals. And this is really important. Your hair style is far more important than your hair color. During your transition is the perfect time to try all kinds of new hairstyles so that by the time your gray hair has reached the finish line, you've also got some new styles that you can put with it. Fast, not particularly. Easy, it gets easier. And it ends up being oh so chic. We'll see you next time.